Hello one and all, and welcome to this special video of a special time! The 25th anniversary of the Swan Princess is here, and the pink carpet event was a rousing success! And I was able to go with my dignified Duke and Countess! So let's see what it's like to live like a princess! So in the fabulous land of Hollywood, the pink carpet was laid out for both celebrities, staff, and special guests to come mingle and shine. Once we got our fancy VIP passes, we were one of them! We were able to see all the dazzling Odettes who came across oceans from many countries to be here, and perhaps a Derek or two. When we needed a break from mingling, we stepped into the dungeon where there was a beautiful ice sculpture of a swan, as well as a special 25th anniversary image created by Steve Gordon, the character designer and animation supervisor from the original movie. Getting past that, we were taken to the magical place that was the main hall. Music was playing, there were flowers everywhere and surprises everywhere we turned. There was a photo area, an art cell wall showing off the one-of-a-kind cells used in the actual movie, a cake contest area, which had seven beautiful entries. At a table sat the very talented Alicia and Talia showing off their animation skills to everyone with tutorials on how to draw Odette. There were cool drinks and a whole feast of delicious food. You can see my own delicious meal here. And on the dining tables there were maquettes, statue busts, of our beloved cast made for the artist to use as reference when the film was created. We happened to be seated with Lord Rogers. After a while of enjoying the party, Cake by Courtney arrived and started judging the cakes with her two children. Before she could announce the winner though, we had a special announcement and a fun performance. This of course was watched on live stream, so if you'd like to watch it in detail, check out the link in the description. But if you don't mind spoilers, our winner was Christina Navarro of Baking Me Crazy with her wonderful four-tiered cake, including layers of pistachio and pumpkin. After eating some cake and mingling some more, it was time to head to the theater at the Arclight. It was such a fun treat to see all nine of the Swan Princess movie posters in the light boxes just like the theatrical releases. We even got to watch all nine trailers on the big screen. Before we had the privilege of watching the newly digitally restored HD movie, Selden Young, the executive producer, gave a presentation to the guests, including a tribute to those who have passed on in the last 25 years. He then introduced the Swan Scars, the Swan Princess version of the Oscars. There were a lot of laughs and tears as this award ceremony took place. After the movie, we had a short Q&A with the director, producers, and writer of the film. While they were short on time, we loved to hear about how they all met each other and the advice they had to give about making the movie. Like laughter goes a long way and if you want to make a movie, be prepared to climb a lot of walls. Very well said. Needless to say, it was a magical night for all of us and it's all thanks to every one of you keeping the spirit of the Swamp Princess alive. Thank you all for watching and see you soon!